y'all. Natalie here today for a cherry on top. And I have these two pictures of my boys and they are in a foam pit with these purple colors. And I was like, what am I going to do with these photos? I guess I could do them in black and white, but that just kind of takes away from the feel of the photo. So I was like, why don't I grab the new Vicky Booten color study collection? Because you know, Vicky knows her color. And so I'm going through all these papers right here that I recently got from the store. And I like that paper. Some of them are from the new Amy Tangerine collection, but I want to use that stencil that you see on the right there. That is, um, blocks because it kind of mimics the foam cubes so I decide not to use that grid paper but I love this black background paper from Vicki Booten color story the other side is completely gorgeous I'm gonna have to grab another sheet of that because I'm gonna use this whole black side um, for my background I love just how the rainbow colors just kind of poke through um, and so I'm just going to let those shine and put them two pieces of like photos and title um, on either edge of the page. So I'm using my thick white gesso. Um, I think it's Finnebeer and I'm putting it in two sections, one on either side of the page, and that's going to take a minute to dry. The Vicky Booten paper has a specifically um, thick and almost a little bit of a shiny texture. And so that is probably because she encourages so much mixed media, but it does take longer to dry. And plus that gesso takes forever. So my title is going to be play date material. And so I have used my Concord and knife double cut dies to cut it out in purple and black cardstock. And then I went over the black cardstock, which is going to be the top of the top layer of the title. And I went over it with some glossy accents because I just love that like fun texture and look. And I almost usually always forget to do it. And so I wanted to remember. So my gesso has dried on my background and I'm gonna go in with some color spray. My, I have a uh, vivacious violet from Shimmers, I think is what I'm using. And I just added the water directly onto the um, gesso portion. And then I just sprayed the color spray on there. You could also do this with stamping inks or any other color kind of watercolor or paint watered down. And I'm just going to let it sit on there and stay within the gessoed areas. It does try to roll off a little bit and I just wipe it up. Um, that paper, like I said, is super thick and nice. So it does kind of go through on the other side, but you can't tell. Um, and it might be because it's black, but it's also because it's super thick. So I'm just working with the color here and just letting it spread around on the white portion so that it pretty much dyes all of the gessoed portion purple. And this color scheme is just not one you see typically in um, a scrapbook layout. So I love that Vicky's papers are so rainbow um, and you can make them work. I like that it had this back, black background though, because since the colors are a little bit out there, it helps keep it toned down and not too busy for the eye. So there we have the dried watercolor on the gesso and I'm going to go back in and do some splatters because I just love the extra layer of um, texture. This kind of gives, it gives depth. That's the word, not texture. It gives depth, um, to the color. And so I do splatters in purple and in black, and then I let those dry. And that is exactly how I wanted it to look. I'm going to clean up that water so I don't spill it all over the place. Cause we know that has happened before. So I have this Nouveau Glimmer paste and it's in black glitter and it's absolutely gorgeous, but I had to take a time out because I couldn't open it. If you are using this, you need to make sure not to get any around the rim where the, the cap goes on because it is so sticky. I couldn't open it. I had to take it to my husband and he had to earn his keep by opening it for me. <laughs> so I'm just putting it in a, three different sections on the larger sec piece of gesso over here and then in two sections on the smaller piece and so in total there's five little sections of this glimmer paste and we have a lovely um odd number of visually pleasing pieces of texture on the page and yeah uh again another this is a page that had a lot of drying time because the title took a long time the gesso took a long time and the glimmer paste took a long time 
So it is finally dry and I'm working on my title. The glossy accents are dry. So what you can see there is I have little tiny pieces of tearaway tape that are holding the outside part of the die cut to the inside part because it cuts in two separate letters each time. And so for the purple part, before I pulled it off of the die, I put the little pieces of tape on the back to hold it together. Um, and I'll just snip away the bits that are showing and um, use it to help me stick it down to the layout. So I decided I needed a little card to put under the title because it was blending in too much. In retrospect, I probably should have done the outline of the title in white instead of purple, but that's okay. I find this cute little tag from an old Amy Tangerine collection. It says, remember this. And um, so I'm gonna stick the play date word on there and it definitely helps it pop out. And because there's a ton of texture underneath, I use a lot of adhesive, um, especially with that glitter, nothing's gonna stick to that. So um, I use these old Amy Tangerine letters that are also glossy black to do the word material. And you can see at the end of the word, it's kind of blending into that black section of glimmer paste. So I will go back in under there with a little purple heart sticker. I also use that red tape to stick down my photos because again, they're going on gesso and glimmer paste and they just don't like to stick to that. So that's what's on the back of my hand there was the wrapper from that. So now I'm going through and just looking at my stash. Uh, scrapbook companies don't use a lot of purple, y'all. So I'm looking through for our, any purple and also some black and white um, embellishments. So you'll find that's from the new... Um, what is it called? Keeping It Real Collection from Pink Press Studio. I love Pink Press Studio. Um, their sentiments are my favorite. So that one said busy doing nothing and I had to use that on there. So I use another couple little pieces that are that same kind of eggplant purple color just to make it uh, correspond as well as some chipboard from Vicki Booten and some stickers from Amy Tangerine. Um, I'm going to link down below with my affiliate link to the store. We have so much going on right now in preparation for National Scrapbooking Day. We're going to have so much fun. Um, check me out on the blog today. You can see um, this layout in the gallery with all of the details. And like I said, I'm going to link down to my affiliate link. If you feel like it's your shopping time right now, I'd love for you to use it. Please like and subscribe and thanks for watching y'all. Bye.